Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium channel. <laughs> and here we go again. So everybody, um, if you are watching live, if you are listening live and you have a question or you'd like to connect with a loved one on the other side, you can be part of the show. You can join in the fun. Uh, the number is 845-277-9131. Yep, 845-277-9131. And if you're watching on one of the um, television stations or any of the blog 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 talk stations that I, or any of the podcast stations that I am on. <laughs> Oy vey, any of the podcast stations that I am on. You can join me live every single Monday and Wednesday at noon central time and call in or join the live chat prior to the show. I want to thank everybody who's here with me live today. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and everybody watching, re-watching the show, listening, re-listening to the show. John, Fawn, Jennifer, Heather, thank you for being on the live. I know there are a lot of people that uh, watch me on YouTube and um, listen live and I don't get to say hi to all of you, but thank you to everybody that does uh, listen in or watch live or rewatches for that matter. A couple announcements before I get started with today, Sal, with um, taking callers and answering their questions or connecting them with loved ones. First and foremost, hey Stevie, I hope you're having a good day, buds. Um, <clears throat> and for those of you who are new, Stevie's my youngest brother. So here's my notes for the day. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, those of you who are not aware, uh, the IRS is bringing on 87,000 more employees because that's, that's what we need. Of all the places we need employees, that's, that's the place we need them. But let me go one step further and please somebody, somebody check this for me just in case I'm wrong. I could be. I was wrong once or twice. Um, they have exempt politicians, Congress politicians have written a bill or a law or a um, executive order. Hold on to your pantaloons, exempting themselves from audits. <laughs> I now identify as a politician. I am now identifying as a member of Congress. So you, you cannot me. Are you effing kidding me? Are you, is that? I, no words, no words can even come out of my mouth and I'm a person full of words. Are you kidding me? Please double check this. Don't come at me, just look up Congress exempt from IRS audits. Let me know what you find. And while you're looking up executive orders, you might want to look up executive order 14067, which I will not talk about on air, but have fun with that one. Again, that's executive order 14067. And to all those people who call this conspiracy theories, we accept your apologies and we forgive you more to come much more to come okay so everybody keeps saying you know what what's the end game here and they keep announcing the game they've written they've written books on the end game we've all talked about the end game and nobody seems to understand it so i'm going to i'm going to say it in a way that maybe everybody can get this if you've seen the movie the hunger games That was actually supposedly 
those, uh, I'm just going to say, if you've seen the movie, The Hunger Games, you're getting close. You're getting close. I know that that you could, you, you think that could never, ever happen. Venezuela and Cuba thought that could never happen to them. Okay. Predictions. Throughout the month of September and October, there will be a lot of misinformation being put out by every media and every side. There's going to be so much misinformation coming out. Please, whatever you hear, no matter where you hear it from, fact check it yourself. Do not do not go into a like a uh, solid belief system saying this. Oh my God, and panicking. Take a breath, wait a minute, and let more information come out. Give it a week or so before you jump onto any side of anything. Um, so one thing I keep hearing about uh, votes, we're all very concerned about the integrity of voting. Um, so uh, you know that these po these polling places where you go in and actually vote, they hire people for the day and anybody can apply. And it's one day you, you do the training and then you go in and work for the day. So if you are a person who can take a day off of work, work a full day through, and you're very concerned about the integrity of voting, no matter what side you're on, this might be a good opportunity for you to see the process from the other side. Okay. And I still say fingerprint voting. <laughs> Think about that, folks. <laughs> Think about that. If we have fingerprint voting, who will vote and who won't vote? Think about that. And you, everybody has a unique fingerprint. So, uh, once it goes through the machine, if that fingerprint has already shown up, come on. It's a no brainer which is why they haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, let's see, what other notes do I have here? Um, and you know what? Here's, here's one last thing that I'm a little hesitant to put out. Um, you know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a couple shows to put this other thing out. I am. Um, I'm going to wait a couple of shows to this will come out on Wednesday or next Monday's show. Okay. I am about to take callers again. If you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go through callers uh, one at a time. I'll say your area code because all I see is your phone number. I will say your area code. When I say your area code, please Give me your name and where you're calling from. Have a very exact question or connection that you would like to make. An exact question or connection is a specific name of a person on the other side and the relationship to them or something exact about love, life, career, finances. Um, a not exact question is, oh, give me a message from anyone, anytime, or give me any message or tell me a little bit. That is more, I'm happy to do that. But that's more of a private reading. Um, I don't um, do that on air just because it takes a little bit more time. And a lot of time, the messages that come out with those give me anything are not always uh, what you want to know. And they're kind of um, sometimes messages that are corrections in your course or your path that you're on and not everybody wants to hear that on air okay uh as i go to take the first caller please remember i will never ever ever reach out to you for a session i will never ever uh tag you on social media or try to reach out to you on social media i will never tell you you need a reading if you want a reading you have to reach out to me uh, the way you reach out to me is via my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Again, that's T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. Um, that is pretty much the only way to get a reading or to call my private number, 414-897-2869. Remember, I will never, ever reach out to you. Here we go, 415, 415. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you? 
Hey, I first I want to say I loved last Wednesday show. You did like a long channeling mm -hmm. at the end of the show, and I've listened to that a couple times. So everyone should go back and listen to that. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah, I have to go back and listen to that <laughs> still. It was. I know when yeah. I channel, I don't always comprehend everything coming through. And even right when I was done, I was like, oh, my gosh, I need to re-listen to this. So, yeah, thank you for reminding me. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would like to hear from my friend who died young, Paul. Okay. So, um, as I tap into Paul, the first thing... Well, I'm seeing one thing and I'm hearing another thing. So the first thing I see is like Andy Gibb. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. And then I hear, and I don't know if this was ever a song, but I hear all I want to say, all I want to do. And that's the only line I'm hearing. And I'm not familiar enough with that to say that that was actually a song. Or if your friend Paul is just putting those words into a song, <laughs> what I will say, <laughs> what I will say is when I was younger, I had the biggest crush on the Gibbs. <laughs> Oh, hilarious. Yeah, Andy was the most handsome. Yeah. <laughs> you are not wrong, my friend. You are not wrong. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes. Uh, so if I'm giving you a message from Paul, he is saying, stay the course, steady the work. <coughs> Excuse me, steady the work. And don't don't, don't compromise. Uh, don't compromise. So whatever mm. that means for you, for whatever is going on right now, those are the messages that he has for you. And then he's saying again, all I want to say, all I want to do. Um, mm. And oh whatever God. that, and I, I don't, I, that song doesn't come to me either. <laughs> okay. So then, um, uh, so, uh, so then there's, okay. And then this just in, all I want to say, all I want to do. And then there's like this do, 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 which uh, people, if, if, if this is the first time you're hearing me sing, I apologize. I cannot keep a beat. I cannot keep a note. And I do not know what tone is, uh, except for tone loke. I know what tone loke is. Um, <laughs> right. Um, and then it goes do do do, and then he says, "Love you." So all I want to say, all I want to do, do do do, love you Aww. is love you. So that would be the message. And Aww. and so there's that little delayed in between the all I want to do, do do do, love is love you. So just know that uh, you you have like a tremendous amount of love coming from up there for you. And I want you to know that uh, there is uh, some, um, some, and steady the course, um, get on track, steady the course, get on track. So whatever that means for you is what they're wanting you to focus in on now and to make sure that that's happening for yeah. you. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Definitely. In the past, I took jobs that I knew I did, wouldn't really like, and then I felt kind of stuck in. So I am making sure that it's something that I, I am, you know, shooting for something higher, definitely, and that really matches with me. So Excellent. Excellent. And I feel like um, moving forward, um, the sooner you can secure something, whether it's your own something or something you're doing with or for somebody else, the better it's going to be. Um, I, I yeah. do feel like that that is, maybe that's why they're saying study the course or what they're saying, because I do feel like there is, um, uh, uh, there's, it's necessary or a need to secure that sooner rather than later. Okay, love? 
All right. Great. Thank you. You are so very, very welcome. Thank you so much for calling in today, Kate. Um, I'm going to go directly to 904 in a second. I want to say hey to Patrick. Patrick, thanks for joining on YouTube. And um, Genevieve and Yvonne. Uh, hey, you guys. Thanks for uh, saying hi and joining in. And 904, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Wendy calling from Florida. Hey, Wendy. How can I help you today? I would like to hear from my grandmother, please. And her first name, please? Sadie. Sadie, okay. Okay, so I am... <clears throat> I saw one woman first and then a second woman. And I'm not sure. Um, I, I know one of these these women are her but one woman was older and thinner and a little bit more i'm going to use the word weathered um as we all get when we mature the other woman is um paler skin and um younger so this might be a vision of her when she was older and a vision when she was younger but instantly they i see these two people step in and they could be the same woman or they could be two different people Having said that, the first message coming okay. through for you. First, I'm going to ask you, did you have a specific question for your grandmother? Is there a reason you want to connect with her or no? Um, it's a lot going on, but I figure I'll just listen to what she has to say because I'm get out of my own way. Okay. Kind of, sort of. okay, well, then I'm going to tell you what she is saying and um just give me a second here as i um unfilter myself so to say well the first thing that okay so the first thing that she wants to bring in and I, there are actually a couple of other people that i cannot see clearly so I'm not really going to mention them, but collectively they are here. Um, but they want you to know that collectively uh, they are here. And the first song I hear is um, the song "Hit the Road, Jack." Don't you? Don't you? They're changing the word to "Don't you look back no more, no more, no more, no more." So in that, like um, that, to me, just like means whatever you're thinking you need or want to do it's time for you to do it and just don't look back don't look back just go and don't look back with whatever it is that you are thinking you need to do right now that move you need to make you just need to jump um jump on it <clears throat> and don't think don't think twice and then the other thing is um Sometimes the situation doesn't get better while you're in it. <clears throat> you have to get out of the situation and then work on things once you're out of the situation. And what I'm seeing, and it's very, if you guys knew how my brain works, it's all I can say. Um, so, I'm seeing two visions go on at the same time in my head. I know. <laughs> so one vision is a living room with like chaos all around it. But the vision right next to it is like a tornado that is swirling, just swirling, swirling, swirling. And it has all this stuff caught up in it. And then... So what they're saying is when you're in the tornado and a, the tornado is swooping up everything, you can't fix that. You have to get out of the tornado before you can fix anything or exact or effect change for, for things. And the fact that they're showing me the tornado and then at the same time showing me the like living room um, situation, I'm going to. I'm going to venture to guess that this might be something in your home life. Um, whatever that is, th your grandmother, um, Sadie, is saying um, the best way to 
fix, change, alter the outcome or the destiny of this. You're not going to be able to do it from within. You have to get out and then figure out what you want and make, make those changes and then stick to them. As long as you are in this, as long as you are in this, no, no, I, oh, I'm going to say exactly what she's saying. So please don't. No good can come from this. And I'm going, no good can come from this the way it is. No good can come from this as it sits. No good can come from this. You need to uh, remove yourself from the situation to make the change. And you know what? She's just going to keep repeating the same statement. And I hope this makes, and I, now, now I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to say this because, because I feel like I need to, and I always want to give the benefit of the doubt or open it up a little bit more just in case I'm being a little too exact. Um, this could be a home situation. This could be a relationship situation. This could be um, a, a, a work situation. Um, and the, the fam, if it is a family situation, it could be a family situation, like maybe not in your direct home, but maybe with a sibling or something along those lines. It's just so I'm not being so, so exact, even though I, I know she's like correcting me right now, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to say, uh, this is her message to you. I hope this was helpful and I hope it makes sense to you. Okay, thank you. Yes, it was. Okay, perfect. And and they love you. And they love you. Of course, they love you. And uh, thank you so much for calling in. And I'm so grateful I was able to talk with you. And I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. And please call in anytime. I'm happy to um, give you messages again in the future. Okay? Okay, thank you. And to you as well. Thanks. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, um, eight eight not 88-845-277-9131 is the call-in number if you would like to call in and ask a question about life, love, career, finances, or connect with a loved one on the other side. 925. 925, how can I help you today? Hi, Tony. Hey. Um, this is Teresa. I'm calling from California. I am wondering, um, it's time for reviews at my job. And I have someone that I work indirectly with but he's trying to minimize what I do and I don't know how you see that going not very good it's difficult to work with yeah um okay so the first thing I'm hearing is you're not the only one who is aware of this everybody's aware this person is um they're using the word condescending Oy. um everybody's aware of how this person pretty much operates. Um, I feel like they, because they do know how this particular person operates, the, it will be a minimal effect that he has on your review or they have on your review, whatever it is. I do feel like this person is trying to over, they have to undercompensate for other people because because they try to overcompensate for themselves and they just want all the credit is what I'm getting. Um, yep. And then I hear that song. The only um, thing is. I'm sorry, go ahead. The only thing is that um, our VP listens to everything that he says and everybody in the company is really frustrated with him. Yeah. And I don't know that. She only hears one side of the story. Okay, so um, so you're here's what I'm gonna say. Um, again, everybody in the company, maybe with the exception of the VP, understands how this person works. But um, I, at this point in time, the message I'm getting is I feel like you don't have a lot to worry about um okay some something people do that is extremely strategic and beautiful 
it's like from from the up. Uh, it's like it's it's very strategic and it's very beautiful and this is just a download this just in sort of thing is they do this thing where they I'm not sure if the word is watermark or earmark their work so they they make sure their signature is on it and it can't be taken off okay easily eventually anything can be removed from anybody's work. But they're just saying, make sure that you're leaving your name on all of your work or keeping a very distinct file, like a, a file filled with everything that you have accomplished. I don't feel like you have anything to worry about right now. I feel like everything is going to be, is, is going to work out to your benefit right now. Um, the one good thing about this person that you're speaking of is um, he has, so for what whatever this is worth, he has everybody where he wants them and he knows how to work the players. So he doesn't want to replace the players, but he doesn't want any of the players to replace him. So he has to keep them at a certain level in the VP's eyes so that they don't take his position, but also um, he doesn't want them to go anyplace because he knows that everybody who's working is doing a good job. So he's not going to do anything to, he, he might not speak as highly as he could or should of you, but he's also not going to do anything that is going to uh, compromise your position. I hope that makes sense to you, Teresa. Yeah. It does. Thank you, Tony. You are so welcome. You have an absolutely amazing day, and I hope to hear from you again in the near future. Thank you. you Take care. You too. Thank you so much. And um, I'm going to do the first clearing of the show, and it's going to be for workplace relationships. We have healthy, happy workplace relationships. I get a no. Let's clear that to a yes. You may or you may not feel that. I hope you you do. Um, and if you don't, it doesn't mean it's not working. It just means you may not be feeling it. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. I love you so much. Everybody, I just, I really, really love you. Thank you for taking the time to join me today. Until Wednesday, have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.